every time I would show up for a job. There'd be desks and telephones from that office, you know, and there'd be a box of tapes or CDs of spec demos. You guys heard that word? People like you and me would write music for free, hoping that their music would become the theme for this new show. And they would submit it. They would put money and love and effort and time into this spec demo. <sighs> Listen up. If you put out there that the value of your services is, well, zero, it's not the fault of the employers if they are predisposed to agree with you. That box is never, ever going to get you the job. I learned that the hard way. I used to be in that box. It's another pile that you got to get out of. Don't do the spec demos. I used to do them. Oh, I, would do, I was on the list. There's a list. Oh, we're doing a show. Can we get a spec demo? And I would do them time after time. And here's the truth. I never, ever, ever got hired for a theme from a spec demo. Ever. 75 series, not one of them from a spec demo. That's enough of a scientific survey for me to declare that that system does not work. It doesn't work for you, and it doesn't work for them. So I don't know why they still do it. The reason they do it is, in their heads, is someone from the music department maybe says, oh, you want to hear some themes? I can get you some themes written. How, how much does that cost? Oh, nothing. They'll do it for free. Really? Well, what if I need three or four of them? Oh, it's still free. Well, if I want 40 of them? Free, free. It's a pile. There's no way to tell the difference between number 23 and number 38. In there, there's probably good stuff, but... You're never going to find out. I was just so exhausted one night. I hadn't slept for days. Cranking out these spec demos because it was that time of year. And the phone rings. Really? And it was the Save by the Bell people. A guy named Franco Barrio. Nice guy. Great name. Franco says, hey, we hear you do great work. We want you to do a spec demo. Look, Franco, I'll do your demo. I'll do one the next day and the next day and the next day. And every one will be closer to what you want because we'll meet and we'll talk about it. And it'll be like a script that has a first version, a second version, a third version, and gets closer and closer to the one you shoot. But you got to hire me first before I do all that work. It'll be better than all these first versions you're getting from the spec demos. What do you say, Franco? Franco just kind of laughed and said, <laughs> that's not what we're doing. Bye. He said, well, wait, 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 before you hang up, put it in the back of your brain. Think about this. Do your spec demos. If you hear exactly what you get, if you strike gold, hire that person. Good for you. But if you don't get exactly what you're looking for, you call me back and we'll do my deal. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, bye. A week later, Franco Barrio calls me back and hires me for that Save by the Bell job. It wasn't from some moment of startling clarity. It wasn't some zenith of understanding. I was just exhausted. And I just couldn't do another one. And I never, ever, ever again did a spec demo. It wasn't until I stopped doing them that people started hiring me. I put value in my services, and then other people did the same. You need to have value in your own talent. In all these years you're spending now developing your skills and your craft and your techniques, don't give it away. It's more important now than ever, online, 
people take music, they take movies, they take pictures or whatever offline, and it's free. And the market value of our services has eroded beyond reasonable limits. We have so often repeated the same mistake of undercutting each other's fees in order to acquire an assignment. Ooh, I'll do it for a little less. That we've done it to ourselves. Uh -huh.